Locking down Wuhan, central China's core city with over 11 million people. It seemed to be an extreme step, but the lockdown curbed virus transmissions and protected the city. On February 10th, President Xi Jinping inspected prevention and control work in Beijing and spoke by video link to doctors from Wuhan. He emphasized that top priority must be given to Hubei and Wuhan as they were the decisive battlegrounds. Victory in Wuhan would ensure victory in Hubei and ultimately victory across the country. By that time, China's central steering group led by Vice Premier Sun Quanlan had worked in Wuhan for nearly two weeks. Over 70,000 local medics in Wuhan remained at work as the epidemic broke out. They first fought the defensive battles. Despite an increasing number of infected patients, shortages of medical supplies, and the risks of infection, local medical professionals were nevertheless determined to save lives. And soon they had company. To protect Wuhan, China rolled out its largest medical resource allocation operation to date. Assistant medical teams and public health personnel from across the country gathered in Hubei and Wuhan to help. Many provinces partnered with cities in Hubei for assistance. Tens of thousands of construction workers and mechanical equipment were sent to Wuhan. They built two new hospitals and 16 temporary ones there. To overcome shortages in medical supplies in Hubei and Wuhan, many enterprises across the country resumed operations to produce face masks, goggles, protective gear, and other necessary medical supplies. China's Ministry of Commerce also activated a material supply mechanism involving nine provincial authorities to ensure production of good supplies for healthy living. That included over 900,000 tons of pork and vegetables, and more than 1.4 million tons of thermal coal and fuel. Local people never stopped protecting Wuhan either. Residents and villagers in Wuhan were mobilized to help manage communities, the first line of defense against the spread of the virus. Strict access control and grid-based management were exercised in communities. Some 580,000 community workers were working in around 3,000 urban and rural communities in Wuhan, taking body temperatures, screening for infections, and sanitizing neighborhoods. Many local residents volunteered on the front lines. They stood guarding communities, screened for infections, carried out cleaning and disinfection work, and bought medicines and delivered groceries for other residents, especially those with pressing needs. On March 10th, President Xi visited Wuhan to inspect work on epidemic control. He acknowledged that the situation in Hubei and Wuhan was improving, but he also pointed out that the task remained arduous. He encouraged the people to persevere in their efforts and win the battles against the virus in Hubei and Wuhan. As the epidemic improved, a system medical team started to withdraw from Hubei on March 17. The next day, Wuhan reported zero new cases for the first time since the outbreak. Some major shopping malls in Wuhan reopened at the end of March.
On April 8th, Wuhan reopened its borders and people went back to the streets. The city was gradually getting back on track. Wuhan was the main battleground against the virus. By making critical achievements in the city, China initially curbed the spread of COVID-19 on the mainland. The victory has been won over the virus in Wuhan. It was a major step forward in the nationwide virus control effort.